I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> At least not now. But I'm here, I'm actually a, a, a state committee member from Westmoreland County, and I'm here because I'm also a poll worker. Since 2004, I've been very worried about how we vote. I, I saw anomalies in our election in 2004, as you all know. I was one of the people that helped to recount the vote in Ohio, and there were things there that I saw that would curl your hair, and they have still never been explained. So in 2006, we got new voting machines under the Help America Vote Act. And these voting machines, there's an issue with them that is so intensely upsetting to me as a union member coming from a union family. Uh, the machines that were chosen by, well, the largest machine in the, in the state is the ENS <coughs> Ivatron. It's used in 24 counties. <laughs> And um, recently there was a documentary run on HDNet that's proved that these machines are made in the Philippines in sweatshops where the assemblers make $2.15 a day to put these machines together. That is not right. It's not right to them and it's not right to our American labor that needs work and we need to support our own people here. So the bill that's going to be discussed in this uh, resolution is H.R. 2894. It's proposed by Congressman Rushholt of New Jersey. He's a Democrat, but the bill has bipartisan support. The right to vote is not, it doesn't belong just to the Democrats or just to the Republicans. It's everybody's right. The bill would provide federal funding for counties that do not have paper ballots on their voting machines to replace those paper uh, the, the, the paperless machines with a machine that will basically, I, you would come in and I'll give you a paper ballot that you will mark with a pencil or if you're a person with disabilities with a ballot marker, there are accessible ballot markers. And on the way out the door, you put it through a scanner, it counts the vote, it goes into the ballot box, and we have those papers to protect every vote a, after the election. And um, why would this be better in terms of labor? because those paper ballots could provide work for our union printers. The paper could be made by union paper makers. And some of the scanners that are, especially the newest generation of, of scanners, will be made in America. Now, I don't, I, I'm trying to do the research. I do not know if they're gonna be union shops, but we can push for that. The, um, the, the situation with these voting machines that we've got in 2006, they're, they're not gonna last as long as the legal machines. 40 years, you know, the old big metal things, if some of you may, may have used those. They're rated for about five years, and we're three and a half years into them. Now, that doesn't mean that a year and a half from now they're all going to go break instantly, but it means that they're going to start to fail, and counties are going to have to replace these machines. It's not if they're going to have to be replaced, it's when they're going to have to be replaced. So what I would like to see now is for us to lay the groundwork for a labor-friendly voting system that supports our workers and our labor. Um, and I wanted to show this film last night. I actually broke down on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. So regardless of how this resolution goes, I would like to get a room in January and show this film. I think it's something that labor needs to see. If any of you would like me to come and speak to your labor councils about this, it's something that our workers need to know. So I hope those of you who are voting vote yes on this resolution, support this bill, H.R. 2894 the Voter Confidence and Increased Accessibility Act. And thank, thank you. you. <laughs> okay.